Hi, welcome to another edition of the Carpenter Shop where we walk through that shop and allow that sawdust and that workplace where Jesus grew up to become a place where we do a little bit of growing ourselves. In Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 and 10 in the NIV, it says this, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Uh, there's a tradition that takes place. If you've ever been to a birthday party, uh, you've seen this unfold. Um, it happens on anniversaries, graduations, uh, especially weddings. The honorees are always given the first piece of cake. So, um, wedding ceremony, the bride and groom will cut the cake. Usually if it's a birthday, they blow the candles out. Oh, give the birthday boy, the birthday girl, the first piece of cake. You've been there. Anniversary, the anniversary couple. They cut the cake, they get the cake. It is a tradition to give the person that you are honoring the first. That's exactly what we were reading about in the Bible. See, if you go back in Scripture, you'll discover that God's covenant with the community of Israel, He um, instructed them to bring the first of their best into the storehouse or to Him uh, in honor of who He is. Who is it you're honoring with your life? They would give the first fruits, as it's called in Scripture, to God. Now, we are New Testament folks, but Old Testament still is in place. And sometimes we forget that anything that we do in every moment of our life, we're to give the first and the best to God. Be it your time, be it your finances, be it your skill set, uh, be it your, and you fill in the gap. God, as the giver of all good things, ask of us to remember Him and remember Him as the source and bring your best. I think Jesus put some lessons together in the carpenter shop and in the carpenter shop He understood the idea of doing the best that you could and doing quality stuff. Well, in the midst of all doing that, there was something else about it that was going on because He was growing out of that place where the first and the best and doing things with excellence really did matter and were important. So for you in your life, for me in my life, whatever we do today, as Scripture tells us, do it all for the glory of God. Be the best. I look forward to joining you next time here in the Carpenter Shop.